we're gonna start in D. So if you need to oh, yeah. get all we're tuned ready. up, we're starting in D. I'm playing out of standard, but if you want to go to high bass, go for it. You might go to G at the end. Hmm. So I'm gonna stay in standard. So up to you whether you want to go into high bass or not. So anyway, welcome everybody to the second uh, Slow Jam Fizz. This is exciting. I'm so happy to have Tatiana and Reed. Um, I will be from time to time posting the uh, tipping information in the chat, but you can also get it on the emails that I sent out. Oh, Everybody good. should be muted, and uh, so I'm going to mute. Oh, you just muted now yourself. You no, no, sorry, I didn't mean to mute me. Uh, or it's Reed. No, I want Reed not muted. Okay, that looks good. Um, so anyway, thanks everybody, and I'm gonna. Um, unspotlight myself and mute myself and turn it over to Tatiana and read. Quick question. Did you say D is an ABCD? Yes. Thank you. Well, should we start or do people need a second to tune? Well, either, either way, I mean. Well, you could always tune to us playing in D. That could be helpful. Yeah. I'll tune too. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, Black Eyed Susie? Yeah. Just playing? Not All right. That's on YouTube. Oh. Yeah. Um. Oh, are they? In, are you in speaker view? Oops, sorry. Okay. All right, we're gonna start with Black Eyed Susie. And you missed it in the key of D.
Awesome. Thanks. Uh, no, no. I just wanted to say thanks and that it sounds really good and carry on. Great. Great. Just gonna, my mom texted me. I want to make sure she got into the Zoom. Mom inclusivity is very oh, important. She says she couldn't make her account work. Uh oh. Well, I'll tell her to do that. Um, she can watch on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Two. Okay. <laughs> um, what's next? Should we do um, Ricketts Hornpipe? Yeah. All right. Um, this is a cool version uh, of Ricketts Hornpipe that I learned from Alice, and she learned it from Parley Parsons. So it's a little bit different than maybe the Ricketts Hornpipe that you know. But the main difference is that there's less notes. So that's why I like it. <laughs> um, so starting the low part. I'm gonna take my headphones off while we okay. play. Yeah. I'm gonna keep them on just in case uh, anything important okay. happens.
nice to see so many familiar faces. Thanks for being here. So fun. <laughs> well, what should we do next? Um, is that Sally Ann too similar? Or? No, I think that'd this be a fun one. Yeah. All right, here's a little old time Sally Ann. Let's do this one just a little bit faster, but not too much faster. I'm also really curious. I see somebody cooking, and I wonder what they're cooking. <laughs> I hope we get. Oh, what is? It? Is that Humintoshens? I can't tell. <laughs> All right, Sally Ann.
request to have the either the fiddler louder or the guitar a little quieter. I think it's fine, but somebody did ask that. So maybe back up a little, Reed. I'll just scoot back a little All right. bit. Okay. Or I can just tone it down. <laughs> I'm a little excited over here. wonder if my mom figured out how to get in. Oh. Mom, are you there? I don't see her. Well, there's a third page, too. Oh, there's a third page. There's three pages. Okay. Well, speaking of um, Norman Edmonds, should we do... Um, this wasn't on the list, but that... Uh... <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. What's that one that called is... again? Oh, it's I in forget. D. Yeah, it yeah. is in D. It sounds like it's an A, but it's actually in D. That'd Something be fun. about a ship or what's that called? Anyone know what that's called? Everyone's muted. Lady of the Lake. Lady yeah. of the Lake. I knew it had something to do with water. Thank you. Um, let's do Lady of the Lake. Okay. I'm not going to nail the chords, but I'm going to do it the same way every time. So <laughs> sorry if there's any strict Norman Edmonds people out there. <laughs> All right. Um, one, two, three, four.
forgot that the second part had oh, to be yeah, a chord. Oh yeah, it's kind of Sorry. an A for a sec. <laughs> I'm just checking to see if my mom figured out. Oh, my mom's watching on YouTube. Great. Hi, mom. Hi, Robin. <laughs> um, let's see. Should we stay in D or switch to G? What about one more D tune? One more D tune, and then we'll switch to G. Um, Rose the Mountain. Oh yeah, let's do Rose in the Mountain. This one's a little crooked and a little notey, but um, if you don't know it already, you will know it a little bit by the end, and maybe a lot. <laughs> um, any warnings for guitar players? I don't think so. Let's do it. Figure it out.
need to retune for G, go ahead and start doing that now. We have some fun G tunes lined up for you. Got a call from CC Conway in the middle of that one. <laughs> Better call her back later. <laughs> It, there, there's not anything you can do about the fact that you both look left-handed, is there? Oh. Mm. Oops. Oh, yeah, actually, I think we can. Maybe. Oh, no, that's going to be something else. Hold on a sec. We can oh, turn there. the camera there around. Oh. Video settings mirror. Is that? Is that better? Great. Just in time for G. <laughs> All right. Um, what should we do first? Do a little warm up with Nancy Roland. Yeah. Yeah. We were finally. It was raining the last week, and it was finally warm enough the last two previous days to get to go outside and do some social distance tunes. So we just jammed on Nancy Rowland for a while the other night. Pretty fun. Hadn't done that in a while. Now it's pouring rain again. <laughs> Looks like a few people are still tuning. Just a little bit. Make sure we're in tune. That's pretty good. Have one last sip of tea. All right. Nancy Rowland. <laughs> Thank you. 
tune. <laughs> it's designed for a Zoom call like this. <laughs> Should we do um, Devil Chase Me Around the Stump? Yeah. So this one has a minor chord in it. Um, it's basically, if you don't know this tune, it's basically Sugar in My Coffee, um, but on the Rising Fawn String Ensemble album, they call it Devil Chase Me Around the Stump, and then Norman Blake plays a totally different guitar melody on the A part, but then James Bryan plays Sugar in My Coffee, so I'll do the fiddle part. <laughs> um, and then the second part starts on the E minor. You'll, you'll figure it out. <laughs> I can't figure out how to sit, but yeah. okay. it's like would have thought by now in quarantine I figured that out. <laughs> Maybe I'll just move this a little bit more in the middle. There we go. Oh, good. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah. You ready? <laughs> Everyone ready? Okay. One, two, ready, go.
play slowly, just really draw out the tone. If that wasn't the inspiration for Molsky Miners, I don't know what <laughs> was. Um, should we do uh, I Don't Love Nobody? Yeah. All right, this one, I haven't really learned this one yet, so I'm not really playing it right, but I've listened to it a bunch, and I'm playing something. It's the Robert Sykes, I Don't Love Nobody, and there's a little bit of a weird timing thing in the B part, and it goes to an E major at the beginning of the B part. Any other guitar? I don't things? think so. Okay. Yeah. And there's a quick D at the end oh, of the yeah. B part, but I think that'll be... Cool. And the A part goes on for twice as long as the B part, so. Comfortable? Sort of.
that's a party tune. I no don't know kidding. how to, that one's so hard to end. What was that called? That's I Don't Love Nobody from Robert Sykes. Cool. And I'm not quite playing it, right? So you should listen. It's hard to find a recording of him playing that online. I know you can listen. There's like a party recording on the Southern Folklife Collection with like Alice and Robert Sykes. It's like, in Alice's archive yeah. on the Southern Folklife. But there's also an LP, site. a Robert Sykes LP. But I don't know if it's digitized. Does anyone know if it's digitized? I don't know. It's a great, a great record. Well, we probably have time for like one or two more. One more? Two more? Five more? <laughs> you can keep going if you want. Okay. Um, we just want to end before quarantine happy hour so we don't cannibalize the audience. Cool. Um, oh, I should say that starting on Monday, I am curating quarantine happy hour for the week. And I think Monday, there's some Irish fiddling and Tuesday, I forget the order, but there'll be music from India, there'll be music from Cuba, there'll be Irish music, there'll be old time music, there'll be singing instrumentals. So make sure to check out quarantine happy hour next week. Um. And speaking of next week, we have the great Ray Stefanini and Nikki Lee doing the jam next week. Should be super fun. So I just want to get say that before we finish. So carry on. And big thanks to Brendan and Maxine. This is so fun. This is so fun. What a great, a great thing. Thank you for organizing this. Sure, it's a great way for me to get to practice finger picking and um, it's super fun for me too. So thanks for doing it. Um, what should we do next? Maybe like kind of a more standard one? Yeah. How about um, Sail Away Ladies? Sweet. Playing kind of hard. My fiddle's going out of tune. part because I'm worried the low part's gonna turn back into I don't love nobody <laughs> if I start on the low part. <laughs>
tried to throw a Kenny Baker lick in there and really messed it up. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, moving on. Should we do one more, maybe? Sounds good. What What should we do for the last last number? Maybe. Speaking of Kenny Baker, we could do this. We could try that one, yeah. I like that one. Okay. Well, I just recently learned this Kenny Baker tune that's kind of fun, and, and it's not that Ooh. tricky. It's a little bit notey, but um, not as much as other Kenny Baker tunes. So maybe let's do this one, and then one more just yeah, yeah, like yeah. comfort zone tune, and then call it good. I know it doesn't feel good to like end on a tune that you don't know, but I think it's good to try. So let's do that one, and then we'll do a old favorite, and then uh, call it good, and head over to quarantine happy hour. Um, how does this go? Oh yeah. Okay, so this is called Shelby Rock. Um, and there's no big surprises, it's pretty standard G tune.
we rock. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming and definitely keep coming to these. Um, I don't know how, how far in advance it's planned, but it sounds like next week, um, Rafe is going to be playing. So that'll be great. And, um, thanks again to Maxine and Brendan for organizing this and for having us. And it's so great to see all of you and, um, hopefully see you soon in person. Yeah, this rocks. <laughs> um, let's do, um, Flatwoods. Oh, yeah. So let's end with a classic Clyde Davenport tune, Flatwoods. <laughs>
thank you so much, Tatiana and Reed. It's wonderful. And it was fabulous. We just got a hello from uh, Hiro, uh, Masa, Hiro Masakasa in Japan. He was play, he was on it this too. So that's amazing. What time is it over there? That's a good question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A worldwide jam. Worldwide. Oh, can I? I don't need. I was thinking of. I would like to. Um, that's spotlight. I was actually thinking I would like to. <laughs> nice fiddle playing, Evie. Was that some black looking? I, I got a gallery view so I can screw things up. That was so fun. It's so, I haven't played fiddle in so long. This is so uh, great. Yeah. Oh. So sweet. We'll see you all next week, everybody. Thanks for coming. See ya. Okay, bye. I'm going to shut down the meeting. Everybody. Bye. Wow. Yeah. Okay. See how long is it?